Hi viewers, welcome to Shakers Bio Factory for NEET. If you like this video, subscribe my channel and click on bell icon to get notification. In this video, I am going to explain some of the general characters of class chondrictase. It is belongs to one of the phylum Chordata. The systematic position of class chondrictis is it belongs to kingdom Animalia, phylum Chordata, division Gnathostomata, superclass Physis, and it is the class Chondrictase. In the name Chondrictis, it refers that these are the members having endoskeleton. This endoskeleton is made up of a special bone is called cartilage, is also called smooth bone. Some of the example for chondrictis like scoliodon is also called as dogfish. Second example prestis is also called sawfish. The third example corcridon is called great white shark and last example trigon is also called stingray is a poisonous in nature. These are some examples for chondrictis class. The general characters of class chondrictis is all chondrictis members are generally grow in marine water and all these members having a specialized streamlined body. The streamlined body means so the body is long with the trappering ends on both sides. So due to having of a trappering end at a front side and a back side their body is referred to as streamlined body. It is one of the modification to grow and move within water habitat. All these chondrictis members having endoskeleton. This endoskeleton is made up of one of the smooth bony tissue is called cartilaginous. Presence of cartilaginous endoskeleton is one of the fundamental character of all chondrictis members. All these members having mouth. So the location of mouth is very important in this member. So all chondrictis members having mouth. This mouth is uh, located towards ventral side. At the tip below the tip, at the ventral side, mouth is located. So these members having notochord in adult individual. This notochord is present throughout their life. Is one of the important fundamental character of chondrictis members. For respiration. Generally, these members having gill slits on their body surface. But uh, these uh, gill slit slits are separated. But these are not covered by a covering. So generally in fishes, the gill slits are covered by operculum. This uh, operculum is a gill cover. But it is completely absent in all chondrictis members. With the help of gill slits, it performs respiration. One of the another important characteristic feature of chondrictis members. So the body surface, it consists of a tight skin. But on the surface of this tight skin, it consists of very minute flacoid scales. So presence of a minute flacoid scale is another important character of chondrictis members. Another important character in chondrictis members they having very sharp teeth. So the teeth is considered as is our one of the modification of flacoid scales. So during evolution the flacoid scales will modify into sharp teeth and these teeth are generally present in jawbone. Presence of jaw bone is a characteristic feature of these members. And in this jawbone, it consists of sharp teeth. These are modified from flacoid scales, but this teeth direction is towards backward. 
so presence of this jaw is a one of the important character and these jaws are very powerful in contractus members because of this uh, powerful jaw with a sharp teeth towards backward they can capture they can capture other animals as a predation this uh, powerful jaw is useful for predaceous nature along with this generally in this members the body it will shrink because the members not having air bladder in their body so due to absence of air bladder in their body it may undergo shrinking but these members to avoid such type of shrinking they are continuously moving within water so due to continuous swimming within water they helps to avoid their body from shrinking is another fundamental character of all chondritis members it is due to absence of air bladder and these members having heart but this heart is with the two chambers in this two chamber one is called auricle atrium and another one is called ventricle is called ventricle so these are the two chambers present in their heart these are called two chambered heart animals with auricle and ventricle some of the members like uh, torpedo so in the body of torpedo it consists of a special organ is called electric organ so this electric organ present only in torpedo members but some of the another members like trigon so this trigons consists of a poisonous string so this poisonous string it is useful to capture other individuals and also it protect themselves from other animals by releasing poisonous with the help of poisonous string so presence of electric organ is a character of a torpedo and presence of poison string is a important character of trigon one of the another important character so animals are generally two types one is called cold blooded animals and warm blooded animals so cold blooded animals are also called as pycolothermes and these chondritis members are generally pycolothermes animals having cold blood and due to having of this cold blood they not have ability to regulate their body temperature so because of cold blood nature what is the temperature present in their surroundings the same temperature is maintained in their body such a special character is seen in cold blooded animals these are called pycolothermes animals because it is due to not having capacity to regulate their body temperature during sexual reproduction all these members have male and female reproductive organs separately in two different individuals so that sex is separated especially the male individuals can easily identified with help of a structure present at the ventral side these are called as pelvic fins these are also called as a claspers so these claspers or pelvic pelvic fins acts as a penis as a male reproductive organ to release sperm cells into female individuals so presence of this uh, pelvic fin bearing claspers is the character of a male individual during sexual reproduction the male individual release male gametes into female individuals so that the process of fertilization take place inside of female organism so that it is a internal fertilization so in majority of this uh, chondritis members after fertilization the zygote present inside of female individual it shows further development becomes into embryo and egg one 
after completion of ang1 development the ang1 will directly deliver to outside of female individual such character is called viviparous character so most of this uh, contract is members are viviparous in nature it is a character related to their sexual reproduction so these are the general characters of all contact this members showing the special features thanks for watching